WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, we're Larry Pesavento with the mid-morning update here, folks. We've been all over the map today. We've been up and down. We're back to the markets being strong. Dow Jones is up about 150. The Nasdaq is up about, uh, looks like about 12 and a half. And the S&P is up about 12. Even the Russell is up today, folks, about nine points. The bonds have gotten hit pretty hard. They were strong earlier in the morning, but then backed off. And, of course, the big news of the day is the weakness in the U.S. dollar. It's just getting hammered. I mean, it just doesn't have any friends at all, and it doesn't appear that it's going to have any in the near, in the near future. So the, another big news is the fact that the price of crude oil has uh, it's jumped up about $2 a barrel today. We're approaching $84 a barrel. Remember just a few days ago, well, let's, let's call that about eight days ago, we were trading at 72, and then the Saudis came out, and the market has been going strong to the upside uh, ever since. So let's keep those things in mind as we're looking at some of these markets today. The grain markets are holding up really well nicely because we happen to be very bullish soybeans, and they're going up nicely. Uh, gold is uh, was up uh, quite a bit. Gold was up about $20 a little while ago. Oh, about four hours ago, we were up there at around 2040. Uh, we since dropped 24 dollars. It's nothing in those markets anymore to move 20 or 30 dollars in a day, and so that's what we're paying attention to now, is to keep an eye on what's going to be happening with the uh, with the gold over these next few days because it's very close to all-time highs, folks. You know, we're only 45 dollars away from all-time highs. One good day, and that could be it. But we do, do having we are having some very wild swings, which is great for volatility in the stock market, the metals markets, the grain markets. Everything is having great volatility, and that's just uh, that's what we like to see. If you've got volatility, you've got opportunity, and if you handle your opportunity correctly, you're going to do just fine. So let's keep that in mind as we watch these things uh, unfold today. Our guest today on 24/7 Fibonacci will be Mr. Michael Moore of Moore Analytics. He'll be with us at 1:30. And he will also be with us at 2.30. He's going to be double shows today because he's got a lot of information uh, to get across to us. So that'll be something to uh, listen to today. So stay tuned. We're going to have a great show. Got some ideas. I posted a chart of what Stan Harley was looking at for a potential high. And it's supposed to be today. And it could be a high or a low. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 